Hey guys and welcome back. Right, now I believe it is time to get out of here. while but I'm sure I said that I was going to do the main mission next. I was going to do something in the main mission. Ooh, ah, ooh, that was an accident. Ooh. I am so glad <laughs> that she got stuck on the side. Space gizmo. Biotics. That's how it's said. Yep. Though sorry, biotics are a few hundred thousand years ahead. Humans are catching up. Humans back home, maybe. You skipped class for six hundred years. <laughs> you definitely made yourself at home. It looks wise. And those are tool using paws. Are you sure it's not more intelligent than us? People do underrate animals. Yeah, I called you Gizmo, didn't I? I'm not allowed to feed you past midnight or something. So he's now called Gizmo. Or Space Gizmo as a nickname. Is there something else? A few more questions, if that's okay. Mm, well, we won't know till we try. I want to learn more about your species. What would you like to know? How long have you had electromagnetic capabilities? How did they evolve? No idea. Biology doesn't interest me. But I'm sure you can easily read up on it. That's disappointing. No biology at all? How do your eyeballs work? An internal lens focuses an image onto the retina where it becomes electrical impulses that are deciphered by the brain. You took my sarcasm as an invitation to show off. Pitiful. I didn't tell you that. <laughs> or she was making a point and showing off a little. The Angara seem so open and free with their feelings. Are we? Hmm. Hmm, we're certainly not ashamed of our feelings. We're taught that feelings and beliefs should live on the outside, where they can be dealt with, honestly and openly. Don't people get hurt? Of course. Then everyone deals with it. That's the point. How many colonies do you have? On what planets? Since the Scourge, we've managed to survive on a small number of planets. What we know from before the Scourge is Mostly oral history. We did have space flight, and the stories tell of five original colonies. You studied with Moshe Sefa. Is she a teacher or a religious figure? She's many things. She's a clear thinker with deep knowledge and insight. She teaches and inspires. She's beloved. I love her. Mm. Really? So one of those professor-student things? <laughs> no, uh, not that way. Moshe Sefer is 115 of your years old. Is there a central Angaran religion? There are many variations. An almanac could give you an accurate number. But if you are a believer, the essential tenet is, after we die, we are reincarnated. We evolve to make our families strong. Born from what was before. Blessed to be better than before. Are you a believer? No. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes. After what you just seen? I don't know if it's the same for humans. Sahuna, my true mother, is a firm believer. After the mission we'd done, where that guy got his past memories back, <laughs> that probably would have made me a believer. Well, 
Enough about that. Can you tell me more about the cat occupation? It's a difficult subject. I'll answer what I can. I may get emotional. Mm. What's living under the cat been like for you? Do you really want to hear about these things? They're painful. I asked, didn't I? It's like living on unstable ground. Every day brings more horrible news. I part company with someone not knowing if I'll ever see them again. When I was a boy, my father vanished from my life. One horrible day. Was he in the resistance? No. He was a technician at a mine. He went to work and didn't come home. That happens for an Angara child somewhere every single day. When the cat came, why didn't you fight? They didn't give us a reason to. Until they did. Then it was too late. Perhaps you think we were weak. But the cat are ruthless. They are masters at knowing exactly when and how to strike. I get that, believe me. Have the cat always been here? No. Some, like the Morshai, are old enough to remember the time before the cat. But I don't. Nor do my mothers. And the Archon came with them? We think so. Resistance intel on that is unclear, and few have seen him in person. And lived to tell? And lived to tell. Well, enough about that. I'll see you later, doll. Stay strong and clear. Aww. So Joel's cool. You know, Costa, yeah. poker is its own kind of thrill. It's still not playing with you. I'll play. Really? Gambling doesn't seem like your style. Why? Because I have more degrees than you have fingers. Yeah. Shots fired. <laughs> All right, dog. You're on. <laughs> that was a good one. Did you hear the news from Eos? A sorry refugee showed up at the outpost. Only a few, but that's better than none. Bradley says there's an officer in charge, Hidaria. She could know where the Ark is. We'll head to Eos and see what she knows. Good. Rumor says Sarissa Theris was on the Asari Ark. Exactly who we need. Who's she? Probably the best commando strategist alive. Her biotic shields saved hundreds at the Battle of Kirkus. Apparently, Sarissa's acting as bodyguard to the Asari Pathfinder. She's probably got a plan out of this mess already. Well, someone's a fan. No, I... I just like... Look, we need someone with her experience, that's all. I'll take someone with that much experience. Another reason to find the Ark. When you're ready to look, we can catch Hidari at Prodromos. Wouldn't mind tagging along. We'll do that in a bit. Right, I'm gonna do that before the main mission then. Prepping Vitcon communications. Oh, this is okay, no, never mind. Wait, 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 we won't To start the next mission, I have to go up there, don't I? Don't prep communications. Again, I'll lend you 30 if you pay me back by tomorrow. Done. Thank you, Subi. Someday I'll find out why you're always strapped for credits. <laughs> He's not good at poker nice, I'm guessing. Just a guess. I wonder if Gizmo ever comes in here. Oh, loads of messages. Exercise in futility. To Ryder from Gil. Your crew has started a regular poker game to try to improve their skills and try to beat me. I bet it was Peepee's idea. They've even wrote poor Jarm into it. So, I won't be needing a raise anytime soon. <laughs> I believe there's going to be an infusion of funds going my way. If I was one for emoticons or emojis, there'd be <laughs> there'd be a big goofy smiley face right here. Gil. <laughs> yeah. 
Can anyone join? Poker journal. Two rider from Gill. I seem to have misplaced my poker journal. It's where I keep notes on all the others. Their tendencies, tales and other insights. It sure would be awful if one of them happened to find it. <laughs> P.S. It's a fake. It's a fake and I placed it in public so they'd find it. Don't tell. <laughs> oh dear Gil. He cheats in many ways. <laughs> He's sneaky. Communication from Joel to Rider from Joel, Pathfinder Rider of the Human Initiative. I've heard, I've heard privately from Ephra, the leader of our resistance. He's very impressed that we were able to help our scientists in Naval, and I've made sure that he knows that you played a key role. Oh, thanks. Maybe he's already said these things to you, but if I know Ephra, he probably hasn't. As for me, I've learned a lot about trust. Being on this team, letting myself be open to trust in you and the others. I've learned that trust is more of a feeling than a science. And it seems like it is a universal truth. Universal, get it? <laughs> okay, yeah, thanks. I'll try to be even more tr I'll try to be even more trustful in the future. The assignment might change my life. Good night, Joel. Oh. Still home, even if not ours. To Ryder from Liam. Proud of Haval. I mean, sure, living there would have been fun. That planet is one pterodactyl away from a Jurassic funfair. <laughs> Freaking awesome though, isn't it? But what we did for the Angara will go a long way to making us good neighbours. We need that, especially with a, especially with a scourge restricting the neighbourhood. Security is trained up on what the locals know about local fauna. Outposts or not, a vowel helps. Costa. Liam has included a list of media themed to community. Genres include century old situation comedies and documentaries about research par partnerships. Also a musical about a man eating plant. Great. Drax disappeared. You know, there was a time when Sid was afraid of space. We were traveling a lot, and one day she just woke up and realized there was nothing outside the shuttle walls. Happened more than once. She'd panic. I'd hold her for as long as it took. She doesn't even remember now. It was only for a month or two. Oh. Funny, huh? The things they don't remember. And you feel like it's up to you to hold on to it, or else it's just gone. And there's just something there that you know you're missing. Drac? Just hold on to it. Oh. I always have time for you. Oh. There's a little R in moments here. <laughs> you probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. You have any R's for me, Drac? Rider. Oh. <laughs> well, I like the way he's a rider. He see he sounds happy to see me. <laughs> Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Tell me more about fighting cat. Shoot stuff and don't die. Always works for me. Okay. We can talk more. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Number one. Angaran world of the day. Tavam. Tavam and a pleasant intoxicant stirred into hot water or fruit juice. Say Tavam. Is that what I said? I said that already, didn't I? Hmm. I'm sure I said that. I think, so. I, think I said that. What's it made from? Is it sweet or more like beer? Petra. What happens if you mix it with booze? Does it get better or do they cancel each other out? Drac. <sighs> we know where their priorities lie. We need to do some scientific tests. Maybe with little umbrellas. <sighs> oh, we'll go have a drink at night. 
Right, so I just got another mission where I have to go back onto that planet quickly and then go to Nexus. And then at some point I can carry on my main mission. I want to do all sides first though. The reports didn't do this world justice. It's ethereal. Director Addison, no personal appearance? It might have been an outpost. Thank you, but no. I prefer climate control to these extremes. Given the planet's significance to the Angara, it's appropriate that we assist, but not place an outpost. And the stability you brought? I received a thank you from Aya. That may be the first time I've heard those words in Andromeda. After the Ked and what they've seen of the Exiles, we had to be at our best. We've had precious few examples of that. Pathfinder might be getting close. Her Varal helps. Outpost or not, we're gaining. We need another, but we're gaining. It's promising, and a lot of people have noticed. And there's another matter, a ceremonial one. A statement for the Archives. Is this really the time? Pathfinder was always a symbol. Like outpost flags hanging in the commons, the people need a connection to reality on the ground. Address them, Pathfinder. What did this mean? We were promised a lot when we signed on to the Initiative. But no Golden World ever looked like this. We need to know everything. About Havaral, about the friends who come from here. We need to know it all. Into the books, Pathfinder. At a snout. So, Ryder, big news. I think I found my purpose in life. Oh yeah? What's that? Uh, thrashing you at poker? Yeah. Shall I deal? Ryder, I can read Gil's vital signs and give you an advantage during the game if you like. Ooh, should we be dishonest or honest? I was thinking, at first I thought, no, let's be honest, but then I thought, well, he's doing tricks as well. Didn't he throw the, um, we read that message for him where he accidentally, on purpose, <laughs> left the book out to throw everyone off. And again, he did, he did warn me, didn't he? Uh, nah, let's be honest. Don't. Alright, you can deal first. Yeah. Having fun? Getting my ass kicked is what I'm doing. Poker's lost me several friends over the years. Mm -hmm. The only one who still plays me is my buddy Jill. I, I know, I know, Jill and Gil. She must be a glutton for punishment. That's her. That's how I know she'll always be there. Jill's a fatality expert. Heads the initiative CRC. My only real friend from back home. I bet 50. I call. The CRC? Colonial Repopulation Committee. She's always teasing that I'm making her job harder. Says if I'm not making babies, I'm part of the problem. We have that kind of relationship. Huh, sounds kind of disrespectful. It doesn't bother you? Nah, she's like family. Supports me unconditionally. We just ride each other like that. You should meet her. You'll see. She's amazing. Another hundred. Ah, I fold. Another one for me then. Hmm? Well, that's that. You win. I've achieved my true purpose in life. <laughs> what will I do now? Congratulations. Good game. You two. Jill predicted you'd be my downfall. Can't wait to tell her she was wrong. Another streak intact, I'll say. Ouch. Have fun. And thanks for the game. Jill would be right if I took Sam's offer and cheated. The discovery of Aya was just what we needed, Ryder. The Angaran scientists have been so generous in sharing their wisdom. It's been amazing. Angaran expertise will be a tremendous help to the initiative. We were certainly hurting for it. I'm thankful the Angara were willing to risk working with us. I'm afraid not all of them are quite so friendly. Some give trust easily. From others, you have to earn it. I'm confident we'll get there. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Oh, the ship manual's useful. That leg of my workbench needed propping up. 
If you bothered reading it, you'd know that the Tempest is an orchestra of new tech. You can't just meddle with... I got this ship launch ready in record time, Kalo. I know my stuff. And you don't have a shred of respect for other people's. Kalo? Oh, Ryder. Sorry you had to hear that. What can I do for you? Tell me something else about the ship. O'Connell, our systems designer, was running a power distribution model. How power moves through the ship. But he forgot to lock his terminal and we, um, <laughs> added a few embellishments. For two days, poor O'Connell was convinced that turning on all the bathroom lights would overload the engine core. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Oh, <laughs> if I gossip any more, I'll get in trouble. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Should have seen it. Perfect drift. You know we've got a finite set of tires, right? Also limbs. And lives. Well, what's the point of having them then? Hey, Ryder. What's the story? How's your friend Jill doing? Good. Busy. Apparently, prepping multiple species for procreation is a lot of work. Who knew? <laughs> Waiting to get it all started was killing her. Now she's being shot out of a cannon, so to speak. Regale me with some poker wisdom. <laughs> well, bluffing and reading players aside, poker is all about math. If the odds of getting the card you need are greater than the bet, make the bet. Out with it already. What's the deal with you and Callo? Anything I should be concerned about? Ah, uh, twist my arm, why don't you? It, it's contrasting styles more than anything. He's a blueprint guy. I'm gears and guts. Got ink on his digits, not grease, up to his elbows. If you didn't have me to balance him out, you might be in trouble. <sighs> Heck, maybe that goes both ways. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Descent is green. Coordinating. Path is calm. Back where we really started. What's new on our first home? The cats still maintain a presence. Skirmishes are frequent, and travel requires caution. They never learn. What else? The atmosphere continues to clear, but radioactive hazards pool in some areas. Study is ongoing. And remnants remain active on the surface, but also as detected by seismic readings. Point of contact for all this? Your people, Pathfinder. Prodromos is expanding, with all the trials and discovery that building an outpost represents. Grounded in research. All data about newly accessible EOS is from their work. Well, let's make sure it gets the attention it deserves. So does that mean I can, um... ...carry on with the map, then? Because I couldn't... Finish this map because of the um, some areas were too toxic to go in. Hmm. Armed and armored. Good for you. I could have used that ordinance a few weeks ago. I'm Ryder, the human pathfinder. Lieutenant Harper. We're looking for the Asari Ark. So am I. Watching the skies every day, praying they survived the cat. At least you and these others made it out. Only just. Our clothes were still smoldering. What happened? The Ket chased our Ark across the cluster. But these weren't their regular soldiers. They were hunters. Elite killers. Being hunted by an elite anything isn't fun. What were they after? I don't know. I'm a junior. I just do what they tell me. A bridge officer. Sarissa something. Gave the evacuation order. Hundreds of people, all trying to flee. 
It, it was. Where could we look for the Ark? We lost track. But they launched a ship to help evacuees. And her crew would know. You'd have to find her. Follow the transponder, maybe. Consider it done. Focus on taking care of yourselves. The ship's called the Paraphona. I'll give you her transponder codes and last flight plan. Thank you. It's... good to see the Ket aren't the only ones winning. Take her down, Callow. We designated this planet Habitat 6. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and oceans of H2O. I take it that's no longer the case. No, it looks like a ball of ice. All H2O in Habitat 6 folds the Angarai. is ice. It's also. And those oceans, frozen over completely. There goes the dream of a seaside property. Mm, it does look, um, cold. <laughs> Even from outer space. That's a pretty intense blizzard. LZ's on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking gale force squalls. to get out and push very funny rider <laughs> this reminds me of a um, massive of, this reminds me of the original mass effect there was a dlc where we had to go into an icy planet and, it, and if we didn't we had to get under these lights so quickly. we wasn't kidding about the cold Yeah, so we had to get onto these heat ones and put, we had to get onto these heat lamps. It's not freezing to death. Joel wasn't kidding. There's no way anyone could find anything through all the snow. Keep going, Ryder. Try not to make any sudden movements. You'll probably be watched. Oh, I should have brought Joel. Oh, lovely. <laughs> and continuing to fall. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Life I understand. Support restored. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Right, so I just went to get Joel and switched um, Liam for him because I think Joel should be here more because these are his people and everything. And yeah. Good to see you again, Commander Dozil. And you, Jal. You must be Ryder. Jal told us what you did for Kirin's team on Haval. I'm Anyik Dozil, commander of this encampment. You're welcome here as an ally of the Angara. I appreciate the warm welcome. It's a joke. To break the ice. Mm. Get it? Warm welcome? Ice? You're a bit like Sam. Ryder? No. <laughs> Probably a translation thing. Perhaps. <laughs> yes. Strange it. jokes aside, I hope you will join our fight against the Ket. We could certainly use the help. 
We've held the Ket at bay, but have been unable to deal a decisive blow. The longer things drag on, the greater our disadvantage. Yeah, I'm starting to see where Sam gets his sense of humor from. <laughs> oh dear. That's why I came here. To help. If you want to know where you can make a difference, go to the post that overlooks the valley. Nothing happens on Vold without our lookouts knowing about it. Before you go, is there anything else I can help you with? How are you holding up against the cat? It hasn't been easy. We've had our victories, but we're a small force. Too small. Didn't Ephra send recruits? Most of them are young, untrained. If we want to beat the cat, we need medics, technicians, and skilled fighters. Then Ryder and I will help. We will? If the commander needs recruits, we'll find them. I'm an outsider. How could I convince anyone to join your resistance? You may be an outsider, but Jarl is an experienced soldier with unmatched passion. He's inspired the will to fight in so many of us. Jarl's right. We can find the people you need. I'd be happy to take anyone you send my way. You have my gratitude, both of you. How long has the Resistance been around? Nearly as long as the Ket. With our military destroyed, civilians took the fight into their own hands. They formed the Resistance as a final effort to retake our home. It seems to be working. Only since Ephra took over. His tactics gave us the push we needed against the Ket. But even now, we're a long way from winning. I've met Ephra. He's... interesting. He's never been good at first impressions. He can be stern, but he's exactly what the Resistance needs. Ephra took a scattered band of civilian fighters and molded them into an effective army. What success we've had against the Ket is entirely due to his leadership. Most people seem to really respect him. Because he would do anything for his people, he inspires the same in us. We may not always agree with Ephra, but we'd follow him to the end of the stars. That's it for now. I'll be here if you have any questions. Don't you worry. Good target. Some behind me.
That's the Perifona, all right. What's left of her? Definitely Ket weapons fire. This wasn't just a crash. The Ket pulverized the ship. No survivors. If we'd been faster, we could have... Damn it. But... This is stupid. The Ket take prisoners. Why kill the crew? It's like they saw the Perifona itself as a threat. But it's no match for a Ket cruiser. Hold on, I got something. Could be a flight recorder. It's in bad shape. But let's see what... Final log. If the Ark ever finds this, we failed. Couldn't draw them off. The data copy's lost. The decimation's too cunning. Forgive us. We tried... The decimation. Hadaria mentioned specialized cat hunters. Maybe that's them. Anyway, we could use that or the flight recorder to find the Ark. If the nav record survived, we could trace the Perifona's flight path might lead us to them. I can't assist. I'll take a look when we get back. Still lots to do. Wait for Cora to decipher the transponder. Okay, right. There's loads of things left to do here. I've got loads on the map to do. Um, so, but for now, I'm just, I'll get back to that another time. I just wanted to sort chorus one out and call it a day for today. Oh, I'm pretty sure I can't, but I've never tried before. What happen if I try to drive the nomad up here? Oh, I heard a bang. <laughs> well, obviously, that was bound to happen. Um, actually, I don't know what I'm going to do when I come back. I might just leave them here. So I wanted to go back to what... Hmm... So I wanted to go back to, um, was it Eos? I wanted to go back to one of the old, the f one of the other worlds because, um, I can now sort it out more. I don't think the radiation zones are that, um, are as bad as they used to be now. I think it's improved, which means I can go back. But since I'm here, I might as well just finish all this off. I've got loads to do. I think I'll do all that. Yeah, I think I'll do that. When I come back, I... I'm going to go over the map, do all these, but seeing as they're all side missions, I most likely won't edit into the video. So I'll just be playing for a couple of hours by myself. So, <laughs> so I'll take a couple of hours doing this, and then I think I'll get back to... Then I think I might go to Eos and finish off that map. Yeah, okay. So when I come back, do this map, and then go back to Eos, and yeah sort Eos out and finish off that map and then we can move on to the main mission because there's still main mission system there for ages doing nothing so yeah i'm gonna leave it here and do all the other stuff another time so if you're watching thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye